Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Mental illness often starts in childhood, but the question is, why is it genetic? Psychiatrist Dr. Paul Arnold, director of the Matheson Center for Mental Health Research and Education at the University of Calgary, is here now with how research underway now is trying to figure that out. Good morning to you. Great, thank you. Yeah, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. So why don't we start right there. When it comes to childhood mental health issues, how common is that? So about one in, we estimate about one in five children and adolescents oh. will develop a mental health disorder. Disorder. Okay, um, so fairly really common. common. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And a lot of these mental health disorders do start in childhood, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So if you look backwards, so if you look at adults who have mental health disorders, about three quarters will can look back and say that it began, you know, before they turned 18. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you want to look into this and try to figure out, is it in fact genetic? Do we know? So what we do know is based on family studies, so that's looking at whether it runs in families, basically mental health disorders, mm -hmm. and looking at uh, twin studies. And based on that, we know that yes, it runs in families, and it seems like uh, a significant contribution of uh, two uh, mental health disorders is genetic. Hmm. Um, so in the case of anxiety disorders, for example, about you know 30 percent we estimate is, is due to a genetic factor. Genetics. So that brings us to that nature nurture question, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and the the short answer to that question, it's an old question, is it's both. Uh, so we know that the right. environment is extremely important. And it's probably a complex interaction between the two, and we, you know, we don't really understand exactly how, how that works exactly. Except, yeah. Interesting. So this brings us to your research study. They're going to be starting in the new year. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. That's right. So uh, yeah, so this is building on a project that we uh, had developed at the Ontario Science Centre in Toronto, um, where we uh, were able to recruit up uh, 17,000 kids wow. uh, who came through that museum, and basically they completed they or their parents completed mental health questionnaires, um, and then they did what we called spit for science. So they, <laughs> so they, so they spit into a tube uh, to provide DNA. Uh, sure. And so based on that, we, we, we developed this genetic study. And we're about to embark on, I guess, what we could call phase two, which is where we're uh, hoping to collect up to 30,000 more kids in Toronto but uh, at the Ontario Science Centre, but also here in Calgary at Telespark. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you're going to Telespark, what's that going to look like? What are you going to be? Are you going to be approached by a researcher, yeah. or what does that look like? Yeah, so if you're a parent and, uh, your child, and you bring your child to Telespark, basically what will happen is there'll be an ex uh, there's going to be a display, and uh, we'll tell we'll a little bit about mental health uh, and the science of mental health, um, and then you'll be approached, like you said, by a researcher asking, you know, do you want to participate? Okay. Um, and in a short span of about 20 minutes, uh, we'll ask you to fill out some questionnaires, and and uh, your child uh, will ask you to do a couple of quick things, and then they'll be uh, spit into a tube <laughs> to, to provide some <laughs> DNA. Again, all with you know consent, that of course. Kind of thing, you know, that, the, from the parents. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. So you've done this in Ontario. What's it like? Do the kids get excited to do the yeah, spit they test? They do. They do. Yeah. I, I mean, how often is it as a child that you actually get the opportunity? You're asked to spit, right? Yeah. So I mean, so that in itself is exciting, and I think they also get really excited and interested for the about the science because here they are at a science museum, yeah. and they're able to participate, and it's you know it's sci it's research in action, so it's okay. a lot of fun for them. That's so yeah. fun. Okay, so let's say you've got this research now. Why is it even important to investigate this? Like, what would you learn as a result of this study about mental health in children? Uh, yeah, so I think what we can learn is we can we can learn. You asked that earlier question about how much is genetic. We can start yeah. to actually get at you know what uh, what are the genetic factors that are involved. So we now have the technology to be able to look at actual genetic variation that might contribute to mental health disorders. Um, so what we're hoping is that based on you know this study that we'll get enough information that we're able to do that so to be able to to pick out kids who are at risk and to enhance sort of early identification and treatment of okay. mental health disorders. So that early identification then helps the child yeah. because you sort of intervene early, is that right? Yeah, exactly. And then if you have a child who is developing signs and symptoms of mental health disorder, you may be able to uh, better understand how to target the right treatments for that for that okay. individual as well. So those are the kinds of, it. that's the kind of information we hope to get from genetic studies. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for telling us yeah, all about it. Yeah, and certainly come me. back when you've got some results to talk Absolutely. about. We'd love, love to, to have you back. Yeah. All right. Terrific. Thanks, thanks so much, Dr. All right. Thank you.